In today's video, we're going to go over every single MoGraph node in the Vonk Ultra tool set. I guarantee you're going to learn something new for this. Go to Workspace, Scripts, Vonk Ultra, Open, and Show Comps folder. Inside of that Comps folder will be every single thing that I'm going over. Let's get into it. We already went over this one. This is points on a cube, points on a circle, points on a grid, and this is points on a rectangle, and this is points on a sphere. If you're coming from part two of the Vonk Ultra series, all these nodes are already familiar with you, so I'm going to be skimming over those. Next, we have Generate Sphere. We went over this briefly in part two. Creates a sphere for you. You can trim the top and the bottom of it, and you can make some really cool effects with this. This one is my personal favorite, Circular Points. You can make really cool abstract shapes with this. It makes these really cool looking lines. Here's another cool one called Create Font. If you get a JSON from File node, press Browse. There are a couple of fonts that are already provided by Vonk Ultra. It's just this parameter called Sample Points. So I can change the sample points to like 40, for example, and now it's all triangles. And then I can have them slowly come in and woo, it says, hello, one, two, three, zero. This is another create text font node and fun fact if you add a unpacker node then a packer node you get a really weird effect with this but every single time i'm using create text font i'm making something like this circular points node you can control all sorts of parameters here to make a cool looking spiral then you have the create node which creates an array this is pretty much a line and you can pair this up with many other modifier nodes to make all kinds of cool effects so if i just wanted 60 points to be on the screen, it gives me 60. Very helpful for modifications, not just by itself. Next, we have the create list node. This one allows you to control every single point and place it exactly where you want it to be. You can make some cool shapes with this. Next, we have the create min max. It allows you to adjust the minimum and maximum range for the points. So if I wanted everything to be in this top right chunk over here, I could do that. Next, we have the create random. This is pretty self-explanatory. It creates an array, but every single point is at a random spot on the screen. You can change the seed of this and you can change the range of where it is. And again, all these points are put in 3D space. Generate text node. This would be really helpful for comps where you have text in the background. You could quickly create a bunch of random text on a screen effortlessly. You also have options for strings, street names, random RGB values, integers. In order to connect it to the text node, you just press connect to and then the node. Next, we have the Lisa Joust blind. This makes a really brilliant looking curve you can adjust the amount of numbers on it and the amount of points on the curve and the step factor is pretty much the smoothness of the curve this curve is also in 3d space you can change the formulas different types of curves Next, we have the generate text node again this is paired with the text wrap function and like I can pretend like I'm a hacker and just Next is the Philotaxis node. This is pretty much an advanced spiral. The count slider pretty much gives a progress of how far the spiral goes. Next, we have the point particles. This one is very similar to the create random, but you have these parameters for movement. When you pair this with the right effects, you can make this look really cool. And this also gets put in 3D space. Next, we have the points on hexagon grid. It quickly generates a, a grid of hexagons. Next, we have the from file node. Pretty much if you have a file full of points, it will be able to render that file inside of Fusion. These are only the tools that create and generate points, not modify them and not change them in any weird way. The cool weird effects come in part four, where I'm going to go over all the modifier notes. Please like and subscribe because this was a hassle and nobody else is covering this. Peace out.